germs must be obliterated. My robotic cleaning crew is missing. Go create messes so my three crewmen will reveal themselves. Prob, asshole. Watch your tongue, or I will clean it with battery acid. Thank you. Clean again begins. The germs will be cleansed in fire and soap. None shall be spared. So, uh, I did some spying on you guys. Like, friendly spying, not creepy spying. And those files are in the central terminal. Just in case any of those doll bastards survive this, I don't want them coming after you. So, go find them. Assassin Athena went AWOL, killing nine and a half Crimson Lance soldiers in the process. One of them got cut in two, vertically. He's alive, but he's got to hop everywhere. Anyway, my guess is she wasn't psyched about the Atlas High Command duping her into murdering her sister. Which, uh, great idea, morons. You want to kill somebody, you hire someone who doesn't give a rat's ass about the job. Regardless, she escaped. With any luck, she'll come back one day and kill all of us. Knocks out. They made you kill your own sister? Sounds like a bandit to me. The officials in question were bandit leaders who murdered their way into positions of power. The cities were one step above bandit camps. Oh, so she's like a, a bandit that kills other bandits? <laughs> nice. Is she, uh, seeing anybody? <laughs> Cute. All right. 
right, let's turn them on. Hello, traveler! Ready to dance? Oops, 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 oops. Oh, shut it off, shut it off! Oops. How am I supposed to create an all-powerful robot soldier when it won't stop dancing? You're fighting against its basic programming. You need to work with his idiocy, not against it. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks, baby. Love ya. Should have killed it when you had the chance, Jack. trained a mercenary. He's worked for every corporation under the sun and has a kill count on par with the population of a small country. Sounds like just what we're looking for. Any downsides? He was born with a very mild case of bone waste, which means he's had a lot of skeletal implants. Subsequently, he may have gotten addicted to cybernetic enhancements. He's addicted to surgically shoving metal into his body. Yes. He'd be a good hire, but you'd run the risk of him being more machine than man after several years of service. Frankly, Angel, that sounds totally awesome. Sign him up. You like surgery? I thought I was into the dark stuff. Great. Now Zarpadon's men won't be able to track you once this is all over. Head back whenever. if Nisha was single, did you? Uh, there's an employee up here named Dean. Dude's got some anger problems, and I'll bet the moon douchebags aren't improving that. I uh, locked his ass in a closet somewhere around here. Find him and calm him down, will you, before he decides to join the Lost Legion or something? about casting decisions for movies I haven't seen yet. Just talk to him, see if you can get him to calm down. When I'm not good at video games, I take out my anger on people around me. I am easily upset. If we are playing a board game and you start winning, I will friggin' cut you. Cool your jets, kid. Jack is really good looking, and that makes me feel less good looking, and that makes me angry! I don't know, there's gotta be some way to cool that guy off. No! Jack left me here and doesn't pay very well, and now you will suffer my verbal wrath! I hate books! I don't like most things! If someone likes something I don't like, I want to dropkick their aspirations! If someone doesn't like... Don't worry, I'm cool.
Don't worry, I'm cool. Thanks again for... Oh, God, I just realized how close I came to dying. Good since... ah! oh, I'm hyperventilating. Uh, somebody hold me. Nah. Hey, hey, Vault Hunter. I have an itty bitty little bit. It's been forever and I still haven't gotten a reply from Jack. Maybe he needs to know I'm for reals. Oh, oh, go find some paint and give it to a claptrap unit. I have an idea. I'm on it, robot voice. I'm not an AI. I'm a. There should be some paint in the claptrap set. Lost Legion rules. Vault Hunters drool. Great! Now, give that paint to a claptrap and ask it to draw an image of my adoration. A testament to the man who brought me here. Yellow's his favorite color, and appearances matter, so if everything's yellow, he'll love me! Find a 
claptrap near Jack's office. After the robot makes the painting, Jack will walk by it every day. Look at these smuts! While they're away, their digital lives at a computer. Ha! Thank the almighty robot policeman. I'm not stuck at a desk like these jokers. That one, he's not busy. He can create my masterpiece! Egghead's got a thing for Jack, for obvious reasons. Need you to draw something that'll get him to second base with the big man. Aww! I wanted to dance! Who knew I could paint as well as I could dance? What the hell is Claptrap painting? It looks like a skag dry humping a vending machine. Nice color, though. I'll get it washed off later. Uh, he doesn't understand. Let's send him some flowers. Go find a few I've planted around the station. Jackass wrote those words. I planted these flowers myself. <laughs> My doctorate's actually in horticulture. I just pretended to be a geneticist so Jack would hire me. Oh, I love him so hard. What? I didn't say anything, but... Mm, blood orchids. They symbolize death and permanence and open mouth kissing. All right. That's all of the flowers we'll need. Just leave them outside of Jack's office. Wonderful. He'll have to acknowledge those. He can't miss them. He'll finally notice me. Fire hazard. Flowers blocking entrance to office. Please immolate flowers to prevent fire hazard. What? No! my station. Show yourself! It's me, sir! Professor Nakayama! I'm the G- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. You're pissing me off with your weird hijinks, Nakitiyama. Cut it out or I'll have you force-fed into a weapon grinder. Freaking jackass. Did you hear that? He almost pronounced my name correctly! That means he pretty much loves me! <laughs> Come on back! Where are you at? idea in history. It's me. I'm going to take Jack's personality and back it up in a computer. Get to my survey terminal and ask Jack some questions. Jack, sir, would you have time for a few questions? Trying to save the world, creepy guy. But I will make you immortal. Uh, yeah. All right. That sounds cool. All right. Just ask Jack as many questions as you want from that survey terminal, and I'll plug the answers into a Jack artificial intelligence. Why are you the best? What? Um, uh, yes? <laughs> Do you have a family? A wife? Children? Next question. Describe your childhood. Dad died pretty early. Mom pawned me off on her mom. Spent most of my time coding or getting smacked around. Had a cat. Grandma drowned it because it didn't make my bed. The usual stuff.
How would you like to die? I don't know, somewhere warm with a sexy chick nearby, maybe. Wait, wait, wait a second. Aren't I supposed to not die? Because this thing's gonna make me, you know, immortal? Digitally, your memories and personality will be saved on a hard drive to be activated upon your death. Digital, that's the diet soda of immortalities. Board now, interview over. All right, compiling the data now. Just gotta plug Jack's answers into an AI, then give it sentience. <laughs> I am Robojack. All humans must die. Oh, cool. Sexy evil computer version of me. That's pretty neat, Nakajama. Kill, kill, kill. Robojack, Robojack, say, I'm going to jack you up. <laughs> Just like that. No. No. <laughs> That's so good. That's something I would totally say. I would. I am handsome and you will die. Who wants to make out? I am super... So, looks like it could use another few revisions. But I think the AI Jack thing might not be such a bad idea. Oh, man, if I could clone a body for Jack, I could put the thing in the thing, and it would be... Jack, I am so smart! Man, it is really gonna break your heart when I hit that. I might have made a teeny tiny genetic abomination who was living in the trash compactor, and it may grow larger from feeding on excrement and eventually kill everyone. Wanna go handle that? Sorry, I skipped lunch. I've shut down the trash compactor's hourly crushing. You'll be fine, so long as nobody tosses it in, in your trash. Oops. <laughs> Did you fall? Probably should have warned you. <laughs> My bad. Chick who saved your ass. Sorry, I almost killed you. <laughs> Friends? Nah, 